So we're here in Florida, but my parents forgot to record an opening for Tybee Island. So here are eight things that you can do in Tybee Island. Fort Pulaski is located on Cockspur Island between Tybee Island and Savannah. The fort began construction in 1829 under Major General Babcock and later under 2nd Lieutenant Robert E. Lee. The fort was named after a Polish soldier who fought under George Washington in the American Revolution named Casimir Pulaski. It cost about a million dollars to build and has 25 million bricks. Before becoming a state park, Fort Pulaski was a military fort and a political prison. The fort is open every day except for New Year's, Thanksgiving, and Christmas Day. Tybee Post Theater was constructed in 1930 for the Army men stationed at the fort. This was an activity for them and their families to enjoy. The theater was saved by the Historic Society and in 2015 was reopened to the public. Tybee Island Lighthouse history dates back to 1736. It is 145 feet tall and has 178 steps to the top. The top offers 360 degree views of the island. This lighthouse is the oldest and tallest structure located in Georgia. The attraction is closed on Tuesdays. The Tybee Island Museum is a part of the lighthouse ticket and located across the street from the lighthouse. It is held in the Fort Screevens building. The museum was established to tell the history of the town. The Tybee Island Marine Science Center takes a look at the Georgia coastal area. They feature baby alligators, spider crabs, logger-headed sea turtles, and many more animals. They are closed Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Unfortunately, we were unable to visit this destination on our trip. Definitely next time.
The Crab Shack is a restaurant on the island that offers a whole experience as they state on their website. They offer a variety of seafood and barbecue. There is also waterfront dining, a place to see baby alligators, exotic birds, a gift shop, three bars, and a pet-friendly atmosphere. If you would like an easy way to get around the island, try one of the many bike rental Tybees has to offer. The price is pretty affordable and you don't have to deal with parking. Tybee Beach Pier is located at the end of Tybreeze Street. The first pier was built in 1891 but was destroyed by a fire in 1967. The second pier was dedicated on August 1996. It is open daily and free to visit. It offers a great place to fish and spectacular views of the Atlantic Ocean morning, noon, and night. Festivals and events are held here throughout the year. Thank you for watching our video on 8 things to do in Tybee Island. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button or maybe share with your friends. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment below. Please join us next time as we continue exploring Tybee Island. See you on the next one!